Welcome back to my channel, my dear friends, and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see, and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Thank you so much for your love and support, your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your opinions. Not so much for the criticism. There's still some of them here and there, which I have blocked a few again this week. There's no need to be nasty. There's no need to be unkind. If you don't like something, move on to something else or to another channel or to another pattern. As you wish. Nobody's perfect. We're far from being perfect. God couldn't please everybody. I can't either. Okay. Uh, four ply, 100% cut thread is most of the time uh, that I use for my patterns. These are Portugal brands. 2.75 hook, a small scissor to cut the loose ends, of course, and a small hook to tuck in the loose ends. I'd like to mention I do have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile pic. I also have TikTok and Instagram. All these links will be listed below in the description box. All the measurements, the sizes, the hook size uh, in the description box. Um, I also would like to thank... Uh, the women that came through helping others in need of thread by donating to my PayPal account. Thank you so much. Nancy McDonald, thank you so much for your donation. I love you so much. You are your one special gal in my heart. Let me tell you that. Um, God bless all of you. And uh, let's keep crocheting. Let's keep creating these beautiful pieces. Okay. So, um, also inside the description box, there's a two minute link video to how to slow down the video or by touching your screen and you can zoom it in, just touch and bring out the picture. You can see the stitches more clearly. Okay. Okay. If I forget anything, I'll let you know during the video. Uh, thank you again, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free of charge. We go a long way in many, many hours, dedication hours, like there's no tomorrow to bring these patterns for you guys. I don't speak just for myself, but for many other creators, designers. Um, it's the only way we can keep going with these videos by having your, your subscriptions. It costs you nothing. And also by giving thumbs up, it helps to circulate, have YouTube to recognize that it's an important channel. They circulate worldwide, get more people to join the channel. It's the only way we can continue this way. Okay, so kindly thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified. And if possible, see the two second commercial. If it's long, you can cut through halfway, but at least watch a bit. It helps also the video. That's, you know, that's them with the commercial stuff. I have no control of it, but it does help the channel. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So yesterday I had launched the small little pineapple doily so cute you can put like a candle you can put plant anything that's very small now i had mentioned this is like um number 10 but i believe this is even smaller so i think it's number 20 when uh her grandmother uh, did it back in the days so it's way smaller so my measurements on that might be a little bit off but anyway so as promised, I said that I would create the bigger one. Okay, so the other one had six pineapples, two, four, six. And this one I believe has two, four, six, eight pineapples, which is beautiful also. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm gonna use the white, four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, cotton. 2.75 hook, or you can use uh, a three, depending upon your country, your thread. I don't know. I'm speaking for my type of thread, right? And uh, I will leave all the measurements and everything else below in the description box. I don't write patterns as I don't read them. I get questioned that a lot, and most of the time I do mention in my videos that I do not write patterns. Okay, so we're going to get started, everyone. Please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. 
and of course give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important we'll also be using a pair of scissors and a small hook to tuck in loose ends okay thank you so much for your beautiful comments and your uplifting words god bless you i send you much love and much hugs let's get started so the first thing you want to do is that magic circle if not you might have to do a seven to eight chain inside of this magic circle I'm going to secure it with a slip stitch and then come back in, single and two chain. Inside of this magic circle, I'm going to do 32 double crochets. This is row one, 32 double crochets. I've done my 32 double crochets. I'm going to secure that, close that with a slip stitch on my very first one. Now, I'm not going to uh, pull too much on my string because I don't want the pattern to be bending. Only at the end or further up, then if I need to pull more, I will. Okay? So now the next thing we want to do is... I'm going to come back in on this stitch. You can do your regular three chain up if that's what you're accustomed to. I'm going to do a single one chain. That's my first double crochet. And then two more for space in between. I'm going to skip this first double crochet and come into the second. And do double crochet. Chain two. Skip one into the next one. Double crochet. Chain two. Skip one into the next one, double crochet. We're going to do this all the way around. We should have 16 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. This is row two. I'm going to do my last two chain, and I'm going to secure that on that one chain that I did, the very first one single and one chain. I'm going to come in on that first two chain space, and create single and two chain. We're going to create shells of two double crochet, two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet into the next one. This is all we're going to do all the way around. This is row three. And the sun is like going down, so I'm getting a little bit of sun reflection here. Um, reminding that I am not uh, at home. I've traveled, so I got to work with what I have or room that was given to me to work, right? Okay, so all the way around and then close on the last one here. Okay, everyone, so I finished row three. Trying to get it off that sun area. Coming in my shell and creating, doing a single and two chain, creating shells of three, double crochet this time. So row four and five are exactly the same thing. Just shell over shell, three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet directly into the next one. So this row and the next row will be a repeat of the same shells, okay? Into the next one, and shell over shell. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So we are on row four, one, two, three, four. Row four and five is just a repeat. I'll meet you at the end of row five. Okay, everyone, so I finished row five. Now, we have three more rows of shells, exactly the same thing. So we're repeating three more rows of these shells. The difference is we have to put chain stitch between them, obviously because the rows are growing. So slip stitch to the center, create your shell again. Three double crochet. Two 
two chain and three more double crochet now I'm going to do a two chain space and coming into the next one and creating a shell so we have three of these rows to create differences we must do uh, two chain on this one on the next row we'll do three chain and the row after that we'll do a four chain so I hope you're understanding what I'm saying so we have one two three four five six rows total counting from the first one here of the three chain two three four five six okay so one not the one that's two if you want to count that then it's seven rows one two three so we have three more one two three three more now the next row we'll do a three chain the row after that a four chain the row after that five chain okay so that would be so we are one two three four five six row nine on row nine you're supposed to have five chain i'll come back to you at the end of row nine okay okay you guys so i'm on to the next row i just want to make sure you guys understood so one two three four five six row six we're repeating the same thing the only difference is we're doing three chain space between the shells creating my shell one two three chain coming into the next one and continuing the shell so next row we're doing four chain until total of ninth row now one two three four five six seven we have two more rows to do so next row four chain and the ninth row that's counting right from the start five chain okay so i'll meet you at the end of ninth row okay everyone so i've reached finished row nine starting from the beginning ninth row five chains in between shell and just started row 10 with shell again, okay? So this row will be shells again. The difference is we'll be doing a, let me see, one, two. See if two chains enough. If not, I'll have to do a three chain. One, two, and then shell. Now for some of you that have a tight tension, you can do a three chain okay so shell over shell nothing changes we're still doing shells on this row the only thing is we're doing a two chain one two and in the center of that five chain with a single and then one two and then shell over shell this is row 10 Chain two and three more double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 10 and just started row 11. Now, row 11, we're going to start the foundation of the pineapples and we're going um, to be doing one shell one two three four chain coming inside of the next one and doing 12 double crochets now of course depending upon the size you want your pineapples to be you can go um, 
bigger uh, pineapples by adding more double crochets inside of this shell here. I'm going to do 12 exactly like the pattern. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And make sure you do have your twelve or you'll run into problems after. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So once we finish doing the 12, two, three, four chain, and doing the shell. So always one group of shell, three, double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So shell, 12, double crochets for the pineapple. Shell, 12 double crochets for the pineapple. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row, started my next row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that it? I want to make sure that we are on the right path. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Row 12. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4 chain again. So after creating your shell, we're going to alternate again shells. And 1 double crochet per stitch. So we'll have the 12 double crochets. Okay, so we're just repeating the row exactly as we did on row 11. One double crochet per stitch, 12 double crochets. And four chain. One, two, three, and four. If your tension is tight, you can do chain five. And then shell. So where we have the shell, we'll keep it as shell. And then chain four again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row 12. I'm going to start row 13. Now it's going to change up a bit. Where we have the shell, we're going to do three groups of three double crochet. We need to separate the pineapples going this way and this way, right? So we have to make three groups of three double crochet. I'm going to start a single, two chain. Two more, double crochet, two chain, three uh, double crochet again. So this is my second group, two chain, and my third group. I have to do all of the shells this way in order to be able to close the pineapples afterwards. One, two, three, and four. I'm coming in between the first and the second double crochet. We're going to start the loops for the pineapples. One, two, three. So I've done a single, coming into the next space, next stitch, in between double crochets, and three chain, single. One, two, three, into the next one, single. One, two, three, into the next one, single. One, two, and three, into the next one, single. All the way to the end. Two, 
make sure that you get every single um, in between the double crochets there. If you miss one, again, you'll have a hard time. So in between the first double crochet with single, three chain, single, three chain. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loops of three chain. One, two, and three, and four, sorry, and create your three groups of three double crochet. So it's just a repeat now. Two chain, one, two, and three double crochet. Chain two, and again, three double crochet. Okay, we're gonna repeat this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So what I decided to do, because I'm doing just a sample, I'm not doing the full doily all the way around. I decided to do just a few here, just to show you. Now, when you come to the end, you would close it with slip stitch and walk with slip stitch to the next shell, okay? So I'm just gonna start my thread here because I had cut my thread. I'm not going to, this was just a sample for you guys. So, do the slip stitch walk, as I call it, to the shell, and create your shell. So I've done a single two chain. You can do your three chain as you're used to doing it. Now with these pineapples, no different than the small one, we'll be working one pineapple at a time back and forth. Okay, so then once you finish one pineapple, you go ahead into the next one. So we're creating the shell here of three double crochet. One, two, three, four. Into your pineapple loop. One, two, three. And again, create your loops. So now we're going to start to decrease on the pineapples. So now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four chain and shell of three double crochet. Two chain and three more double crochet. So basically we'll be working on this pineapple only. So you would turn around, do the walk with slip stitch to the center of your shell. Create your shell. So I'm doing a single and two chain. and three more double crochet here. So three double crochet, two chain, and three double crochet. Four chain, one, two, three, four, and create your pineapple loops again. So it's just a repeat, 
until the last loop of the pineapple and then I'll come back to you once I have created the last three chain loops of one of the very last one. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end once I have only one left. So it's just back and forth now until the end. Okay, everyone, so I have one loop left here at my pineapple. I'm going to do my shell, so I'm going to do the walk with slip stitch, as I call it. Create my shell. One, two, three, four, five chain, okay? One, two, three, four, five chain. Create your shell. Turn around. Go to the, the middle of the shell again. So do your walk with slip stitch. Single my two chain. Creating my shell. I'm going to do two chain, coming into the next shell with shell. Now I might end up doing another style with this pattern. I'm thinking about creating another style with this pattern, just finishing up all of my um, pineapples and coming up with something. I don't know yet, but it's in my mind. I will see how I feel about it to create it and do it. Okay, so turn around. And this is the last row. Oops, sorry. We have to go to the center of the uh, shell here with a slip stitch. I'm coming directly in the center here of the two chain and creating a shell. So very simple, and then into the middle of that shell with slip stitch. Cut your thread, tuck in your loose ends, and then you would go into the next pineapple. That means you would turn into the right side, of course, and start at the right side. So that means you would start again. Uh, Oh, I didn't complete that. That's right. So you would start again on the on the left side and continue back and forth again on it. Okay? So I want to thank every single one of you. This is pretty much, I'll put this aside. This is pretty much what it will look like. Of course, bigger because my thread is thicker. I believe this is number 20. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm sure you guys will absolutely love this pattern. It's beautiful and uh, perfect in any size that you would like to create. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give a thumbs up on the video. I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Stay tuned. Like I said, I might create something else with this. Uh, all I have to do is complete the rest of my pineapples and add 3D flowers to it. I think you guys will love it if I go ahead with the project. Until next time, everybody, God bless. Stay safe. I send you much love and much hugs.
Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.